Happy birthday. Hey baby. Happy birthday to you. Hey man. Do, do you mind? Do you mind saying happy birthday to my wife? Are you guys from South Africa? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. This guy wants to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm what? from Joburg. What? Nice. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, man. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh my God. What's, your What's your name? I'm Philip. What's Philip? your name, man? Offensive. Oh, what she doing here in Beijing? Beijing is very close to South Africa now. Eh? I think China in general is very close to South Africa. Which part of South Africa are you from? Pretoria. I was born and raised in South Africa all my life. in 2017 September, so yeah, yeah. it's been almost a year and a half. Yeah. I'm here in China to study a master's program in nuclear engineering management at Tsinghua University. This is my first year in China studying at Tsinghua University. I'm doing my master's degree in international construction project management. My mother encouraged me to study nuclear of energy source. She told me that nuclear is the future of energy sources. It has not been easy. I resigned from my job just for me to grab this opportunity because I've always wanted to complete my master's. I am first generation South African born Chinese. I do have a South African culture. I understand the people. My Chinese ancestral home is in Anhui. Hey, let me add you in WeChat, eh? Yeah, for sure, bud, for sure. I was actually about to ask you the same question. Nice to meet you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Of course, no. I'm actually in my second year of the program, in which I am doing an internship at SPIC, at the State Power Investment Corporation. My supervisor, both Mr. Chu and Mr. Sean, have really been supportive. These buildings, this one, they built very, very fast. Yeah, very, very fast. One week, one week, mm. one level, it's finished. This is a kind of yeah. I see. The internship mostly is in the design analysis of pipe ruptures in the conventional island. This是核导厂房，这是第一块，这是军机厂房。清华大学语言与国际联系联合培养，欧盛在就读清华大学之前，已经在南非国内的相关核能机构工作了一段时间。我们希望在他实习期间，让他尽可能的对整个核电站有一
where South Africa, they've been taught a structure and it's currently trying to break the structure apart, but it's a slow process. It's still very rigid at the moment. The uniqueness of international construction project management lies within the name itself. Every country needs project management, and I think South Africa especially needs a lot of management. The second one is communication, uh, lack of efficient communication, and then the third one is planning. If you don't plan for experts. I've learned so far in these three weeks of the Chinese people. Uh, you left someone yesterday around five o'clock or seven o'clock when you leave the office. When you come there in the morning, you find him still working and the concentration. So that really motivates you. By 2030, China would become the leader in more nuclear power. So being here, I will gain more knowledge, improve my profession. I hope to plow back to my country and to do what China has taught me. I have a beautiful wife. I have two sons. The first one, Botali, will be starting school next year. It's unfortunate that I'm not going to make it uh, for his first day at school. And my second son, I left him when he was just six months. I am here to give them the hope for a better future. My plan is to build a better life for them. When I go back to South Africa, to first find a job that will meet my capabilities, particularly in a senior position in nuclear engineering. Yeah, I'm already used to the chopstick. My favorite as well. It's in Iran. Food is very affordable here. My current objective right now is to not only to better my studies, I've currently attended a lot of associations that operate within China. A GPA stands for Global Practice Association. Hello, hello. hello. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Hello, hello, it's Matthew. Matthew. Matthew, it's a pleasure to meet you. We're promoting this idea of global competency, which is a, to educate people that there are different cultures, to let them understand that it's okay to be part of different cultures and to accept it. I'm here at uh, Tsinghua University. Tonight's event specifically is a uh, African culture event. And what's really, really amazing about this is it's a mixture between everybody. I want to just continue talking to the people. It's a great opportunity to meet new people and it's challenging. I have faced a lot of difficulties living in South Africa as a, as a Chinese person in general. I try not to let that get me down. It's because I'm there to help them understand. That's one of the most beautiful things. <laughs> And this afternoon, we invite Mr. Afans Marathi to give a presentation. In the following presentation, he will give some detailed information and some also difficulties in his master thesis. And welcome. I spent some time doing analysis uh, for the nuclear island. My project is uh, focused on only on the conventional island. My thesis is supported by both SPIC and the university uh, professors. And Mr. Huang uh, does more of the quality, the science behind my work at the end of the day. His topic is very new and practical to the nuclear power plant research and operation. I think offense 
America, uh, will be a good uh, researcher and in a technical leader. I can see myself definitely falling in love with this country, but not nearly as enough as South Africa. Mainly because that's my home, that's where I was born, and there's so much potential for South Africa. And I would like to take knowledge back and to help South Africa and build the relationship between the two countries. The current issue is that the development in South Africa is very unstructured. And um, I believe that my degree, which is International Construction Project Management, is going to assist with this. I can help, I can assist, build the infrastructure of South Africa. Like one of the most influential people for the betterment of the people and for the people. I'm here right now at a place called Shremu Xinhua. Um, it's quite an old place. I, I believe one of the directors or one of the first people who founded the Tsinghua estate here. Um, as you can see, just by the architecture itself, it's quite old. I mean, if you look at the characters, none of which I understand, but which I'm trying to learn in Tsinghua right now. China is internationally diverse and internationally aware. China is like an art of ways that paint the picture of the future of the country, writes visions for the young and the old, and particularly their leaders, and trails good history and memories. So this building on my right hand side is the Qinghua Old School. This is where it all began in 1911. Uh, the history of Qinghua was written here. I love it, it's ancient. My dream is to become a recognized specialist in thermohydraulics and a leader in the development of nuclear power and new energy sources. My end goal is to become one of the most influential leaders in South Africa, bring South Africa, make South Africa a really amazing place.